Hello everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial from Archie Vision. This is our series on Dark and Light Dev Kit. And today we're going to be making a little addition to our Super Wolf and sort of showing how to do um how to add the names name tag that's in game that you see and also uh how to change their stats. Alright, well let's go ahead and get started on that. First thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to open up the Super Wolf blueprint, which is here. And to change the name, which is easy, you type in name description or name desk, and it'll come up. There it is. And what you'll do is you'll type in super on the front or whatever other name you're calling yours. And you're going to click compile. And go ahead and click save. Now that we've done that, we are going to go into, we're going to first get out of that real quick and delete that. We'll go into our Go into our components. Now in our components you're going to want to select the monster character status BP. In here we're going to look for max stats value, status values. These right here are your base stats. That should be named base stats, not max stats, but we'll get to that later. Um, in here you can make your changes. And with these changes you can you can actually see the changes in Pi sometimes. Sometimes you can. It depends on the animal. So far, I've run into several little issues with different ones, mainly the fire dragon. But we'll get to that later. <laughs> well, that's, that's for another time. But to be able to make these uh, constant, make the changes constant to where once you make the change, it's always going to be in there, we need to actually make this our own. Instead of using the default wolf uh, monster status component or mon monster character status, what we need to do is we need to make our own. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to delete it. All right, once we delete it, we're going to compile and save. Now, once we do that, we're going to scroll all the way up to the top here in our uh, right up underneath our game. We're going to go into DNL and there we're going to type in monster uh, character status and those will pull up and or you can actually to make it easier let's try this there monster cat character status wolf there it is right there so we'll take that one and we're going to copy it into our folder into our super wolf folder which is here so now that we have that we're going to rename it now to get it to recognize some uh recognize what you'll do is you'll change the name which you can see i've already changed my name to superwolf underscore c and this is uppercase c and the reason i did that is that way um sometimes once you've renamed this and saved it um it will not recognize it under add components here you won't be able to find it but if you uh add the underscore c to it and save it it will it'll find it the first time so you'll just scroll down to uh, monster characters and you'll see there's our standard wolf and right above it is there's a super wolf so you'll click that and there it brings it in now before we do anything else we'll go into our monster status values and i want to show you um i've already made all the changes and you'll do that before you save it if not it's no big deal but uh you'll go ahead and make your changes you'll see i've changed the weight i've changed the torpidity stamina and health and this uh and that's it then you'll compile and save that and then you'll come back into your Super Wolf character, which we've made all our changes here. And you'll compile and save. Once you've done that, it should show back up there. If you, if, if by chance you make changes in your monster character status sheet, and then you come over to your Super Wolf and you have this here, but you get a blank spot down here, you have it highlighted and you double click it and it still won't come up. What that means is you still have to save, uh, compile, and save your um, your character uh, BP. So you just compile and save that, and then all this will come back. So as you can see, we got our um, max stats values. They're all there. They just came in. Now these are all going to be your base stats. And anytime you make any changes, I would recommend not making them in here. A lot of people do, and I've seen that happen. But sometimes that can cause to where uh, a person is in game and they'll see one wolf and it'll have the these stats and then another wolf right down the road be the same level but it'll have the stats of the um the same super wolf same level 
you know, have the stats of the default wolf. Um, to, to fix that, you'll want to, to do what we just did. And you'll also want to make your changes always in here. Because anytime it loads the, in the game, it's going to load from this first into the character. So anyway, we'll go into max stat values. We see here we got them all. So we'll go ahead and take that, minimize that. We'll get in and play real quick and we'll see what they got. We'll back off a little bit because I've got, also got all these set to um, Force Auto Team. That way as soon as I start playing, they'll be wild for just a split second and then they tame. Whee! Alright. There we go. Alright, as you can see, you got 2750 there. And everything's coming out. There's our um, focus is good. Let's see, where's... Wait, 848. So everything looks like it's working. <laughs> if I can remember which buttons are which. I got them remapped in the regular game, so they're a little different. All right, let's see. 944 on that one. That one's 54, 45, 70, so... So basically what we've got here, everything's working. We see all our stats are there. So uh, the only the only problem I saw with it, uh, with the wolves, is that our uh, step values uh, on the uh, on the levels is a little high. So I would go in and change that. But overall, that should show you how to do that and make sure that everything is uh, uniform. Everything constantly spawns in like it's like you intend it to in the game. You don't have any issues of people saying that, you know, my wolf, you know, one day had, you know, you know, 5,000 health. The next day I'd have 500. This right here should correct that issue. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't, um, if you, you know, like the video, please like and subscribe. You have a good day.